Inshallah one. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakat Kodash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. And salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect. I'm leaving on the word, say Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And this guy, Ronald Dalton, is clearly a false prophet, all right? Going on and on about us not being saved by the way of chairs, man. You know, this guy has a, a, a doctrine, a flea doctrine, right, that uh, says that you got to get out of, uh, leave America, Babylon, the great. We got to deliver ourselves. But how is that going to be... Uh, how about shout shy receiving the glory, man? Real quick, let's start the book of Jeremiah. Right? There's a scripture tell us that this deliverance, not you delivering yourself, but this deliverance will be uh greater than the deliverance that we had in the in, in, in the land of Egypt, right? Jeremiah chapter 16. And verse 14, it says, Therefore, behold, the days cometh, saith the Lord, that I shall no more, excuse me, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord liveth, <coughs> excuse me, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Yeah, where is that? North America, man. Babylon the Great. And from all the lands whether he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. See, as the Lord to say is going to bring us, man. All right, we're not delivering ourselves. We're not fleeing to another area. No. But wherever you are, if you're, if you're a wicked Israelite, guess what? You're going to be judged, man. All right, you got to remember Jacob's trouble. It's tailor made for Jacob. But the scripture said we're going to be delivered from Babylon. All right, and this is modern day Babylon, modern day Nineveh. All right, this is Malachi. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. What is that? I want. Uh, let me see some. Bear with me. Micah. Chapter 4 and verse 10. Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, daughter singular, all right, indicating the Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? Like a woman in travail, for now shall thou go forth out of the city. And thou shalt dwell in the field. Yeah, the field is a metaphor for the world. And thou shalt go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. Now you're going to deliver yourself. There thou shalt be delivered. There the Lord, Yahweh, shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. And how are we going to be delivered? By the way of those chariots. All right. Those clouds, the same clouds that our Lord went up in. Let's get that. Those same clouds. All right? That's how the Lord is coming back. This is the book of Acts. Chapter 1. And verse 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud, see, and a cloud receives him out of their sight. What is that cloud? It's a chariot, a so-called UFO, man. It says, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfast toward heaven, they was looking up, Ronald Dalton. Fucking idiots, man. But see, it's showing you that the way of truth is being hidden more and more. All right, the Lord has set up these certain false prophets to lead the undesirables away. It says, and while they looked steadfast toward heaven, 
as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. These two men are angels, okay? Which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? See that? Again, they were looking up. Ain't no, ain't no damn white lily cloud <laughs> receive the Lord. Now it's a metaphor for the chairs of Israel who, who make up. Matter of fact, this, we're going to finish that off and we'll come back uh, uh, get a quick precept on those clouds, right? It says Acts 1 and 11 which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Yahweh, which is taken from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. See, so the Lord is going to come back the same way he left, man, in a chariot. What did I want? Uh, I think it's Psalms 104. Let's see. Yep, it's the Psalms, chapter 104. I'm going to start at verse 1. The point is in verse 3. It says, Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, O my soul, O Lord, my power, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covereth thyself with light as with a garment that stretches out the heavens like a curtain that lay of the beams of his chambers in the waters who make of the clouds his chariot. See? Who make of the clouds his chariot who walketh upon the wings of the wind. So these clouds that our Lord Yahweh received up in is a chariot. A so-called UFO, man. Why do you think they have a space for us? Why do you think these countries are, are gearing up to fight against the Lord? All right? When World War Three. Uh, kicks out. Why do you think that, man? And it's all over the scriptures. What is that? Second uh, Ezra 13. All right. Those chariots are indeed biblical. And you got these false prophets again, you know, straying away the undesirables. All right. Let's go to Revelation. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 7. Behold, he come up with clouds, see that? And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And that's reincarnation, all right, if you have eyes to see. It says, they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so our mind. Why are all the nations going to? Gonna uh well because of him, cause the Lord's coming to bring wrath, man. All right, and they're gonna see something they ain't never seen before. They gonna see a a, a so-called black man popping up in a so-called UFO, which is the chair. So you have by shot shot. All right, the strangeness of our salvation. Okay, but you got this guy, you know, pushing for false doctrine, man. The flea doctrine. There are no chariots. Right? We're not going to uh, go up in the chariot. What else this guy say? Oh, the Israelites are uh, Negro only. You see that? And this guy don't have a camp. All right? He's not on the highways and byways making his, his body a living sacrifice. You see? Well, what does scripture say? The deceived and the deceivers are his? Uh, that shit lets you know, man, that the way of truth has been hidden. All right? It's going to be a very small number to walk the tightrope, man. Matter of fact. I'm going to get some real quick. And then we're going to go back to the chariots, right? This is Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Yeah, that word straight means a level of difficulty. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And one of those guys is leading you people to destruction is Ronald Dalton. All right? With these uh, wayward doctrine, man. All right, not sound at all. It says, And many there be which go in thereat. Why? Because straight is the gate, 
and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. See that? Few there be that find it. All right? The way that leads unto life. But you got this guy, you know, been set up, paid off. All right? The way, uh, you know, you got, you got Israel. Now, oh, he also got a crazy doctrine that, that the so-called white man, all right, is Japheth. Okay? Well, you, you can plainly, clearly see, according to the scriptures, the end time prophecy indicates that Esau is going to be in power, not Japhet. You see? But those ones that get caught up in that shit, guess what? The Lord gave you over to it. This is the book of Matthew. Or staying in the book of Matthew. Chapter 24, starting at verse 29. It says, immediately after the tribulation of those days, Shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light? Right. Those uh, uh, ICBM missiles hitting this place, you know, uh, covering up uh, the uh, covering up the heavens. Right. The moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven. The stars being a metaphor for those ICBM missiles. Right. And the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. See that? In heaven, up in the clouds. All right? Well, the clouds are a metaphor for the chariots, but you're going to be looking up. See that? But it said immediately after the tribulation. So after Jacob's trouble then went down, you know, World War Three has commenced. That thing, thing has been made mad, mandate. Then you're going to see your house shot pop up in the heaven. See? And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. See that? With power and great glory. See? And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. See that? So at the same time the missiles are hitting, the Lord is saving the elect, man, by the way of chariots. That's the only way out of here. All right? You got a bomb called the Tar the Sar Bomber, right? S A, excuse me, uh, T S A R, the Sar Bomber. Well, that 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 nuclear missile that Russia let off, all right, was was had a greater yield than anything, and it towers over Mount Everest, all right. It towers over the the commercial lane that these planes take to fly. So how the hell are you getting out of here, all right? You're not gonna deliver yourself. You gotta be up in the chairs, man, all right? Let's go to Isaiah, all right. And, and this is light work, you know, but we ought to call out these false prophets, man. Okay? We got to uh, protect the sheep, as it were. Isaiah chapter 26, I believe. Yep. Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. The chambers is a metaphor for the chariots. And shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment. Until the indignation be overpassed. You have the righteous anger. You have by shot shot. Till it be overpassed. How are we going to be saved man? As, as, as the destruction came down. In the days of Noah. How was he saved? He was saved because he was protected. In the ark. All right. Scriptures tell us that uh, the ark was lifted above the earth, man. Okay? Why? Because the destruction was laying hold to that place. Okay? Or this place. All right? Uh, yeah, let's get one more and we'll close it out. That's pretty much the point. All right? This is Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. 
gather yourselves together. You are gathered together, O nation, not desire. Who is that? Israelites, man. Right? And how are we being gathered? By the word. Okay? It says, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, that righteous in well, that, that 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 indignation, man, that righteous anger. Right? It says, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek meek seek, excuse me, seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Yeah, man. Hid where? Hid in the chariots. Save from the destruction that's going to lay, lay waste to Babylon, the great AKA America, and various places around the world. Okay? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, coming to you with another lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.